guessing yes. Correct. Yeah. Great. Yeah. All right. Chris, are you are you all set? Okay, perfect. Hi guys and welcome to another take three reaction of the movie trivia Schmodan. Today we've got a great inner geekdom tournament match between Koya Jandro and um, Mara Knopic. I don't know a lot about her, but I'm sure we'll find out about her during the match. And uh, as everyone knows, Koi is a returning, I, I don't want to say fan favorite, but he is extremely nice. And he always has entertaining matches. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to this one. We got a great panel to go over and react to this match. We have, of course, Malcolm Lee. How's it going, Malcolm? Um, pretty good, pretty good. Um, I don't really know... Who's going to win this? Because, like, we know Koi, but um, we don't know Mara. I'm pretty sure she's um, Dan Merrill's girlfriend, so maybe Dan's helped her study. So, yeah. Malcolm, with the inside information, I can neither confirm nor deny that is accurate. Uh, but we we also have with us today Robert Parker, inner geekdom extraordinaire. How's it going? It's going really well. I, I am very pumped for this match. Uh, you know, Corey has had some minor success in the Inner Geekdom in the past, and he's going up against Mara, who is sort of a new face. So I'm excited to see how she does for her first time competing, and I'm excited to see how Koi does returning. So I'm I'm ready to go. Definitely, definitely. Me too. We also have uh, joining us again, Cody Newberry. How's it going? Good to have you back. It's going great. Uh, just got off work, so I'm really excited to see this match. Um, like I was saying, I hope Koi um, has improved. I know his last interview, he said he will be better. So let's hope. Um, but I'm really excited for Mara. She, uh, What I hear, she really knows her stuff. Didn't know that she might be a uh, girlfriend of Dan Morrow. But if that's any indication, well, that's scary. Um, but I think she, I, I hope she wins today, but... Um, I'll be okay. It'll be cool. Yep. I'm uh, looking forward to this match. I honestly don't know who's going to win. I'd like to think it was Koi, given that he's had the experience, but he also has really bad luck with, um, I believe, getting categories that he doesn't want. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe he'll get Marvel this time. You never know. Um, but with that, we are going to start the match, and we're going to click play in five, four, Three, two, one, and play. Yeah, Koi, he's a fast talker, but he's uh, he's great with the answers. He came here and inter 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 and just kind of made his uh, his presence known in the crowd. I'm happy for him. So with that, Koi, John Drew, Crazy Koi, you have been eliminated from the fatal. I'm so fire. sad. <laughs> if you had me on your roster, I, <laughs> I will do better. I am. <laughs> I'll come back better, and I'm still here. A little montage about boy, that's interesting. Yeah, that was good. Again, let's hope he has better luck. Yeah, definitely. He's definitely not been the luckiest competitor. He seems like he'd be the, uh, you know, the most interesting guy in the room to go talk man, we to. Have a brand new, we have a rookie and we have a vet inside of the Inner Geekdom Tournament. I'm joined by Ken Knapsack. Oh, there I am. Hi, yeah, buddy. happy. You didn't think I was going to introduce you? I didn't think you were. The whole Come match, I was going to say. You're a good word. friend of mine. No, is that right? I was yeah, kind of right. hoping that we would have bibs. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, bibs at the table yeah, again, yeah. Like After that said, last cutscene the other day. Swing, where he wants to take his job, yeah. A veteran, you can come out on top and really cement yourself in Maybe he'll have to play him for it. Crazy. I mean, you look at what yeah, but Mike, the killer I want Kendall to lose his. He's turned this whole league upside down on its head. And he told a bloodbath. the commissioner, Thad Williams, that no, 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 we're not doing a Fatal Five. We're doing a tournament. And these 
competitors a lot of competitors who were not in this term before or even in consideration now find themselves in a position with four wins they could be playing jason justice in and for that championship and that is the case with our rookie here today the amazing Mara Kanopic, who makes her debut against Crazy Koi Jandru, who started to talk about Mike Kalinowski, that the, the notorious pudding flub. Yeah. Um, that was that happened between Jandru and Killer, and Killer still holds uh, it to, uh, to this day. Yeah, yep. absolutely. This is going to be interesting. I, I know Mara. It had to be the most frustrating because he was in that Batman suit, and it had to be so hard to get out of, and he was so mad. So it probably took him longer. I don't think anyone should just uh, look at, look, overlook her in this oh, moment no. here. She's got a lot of skills, a lot of strengths, and really loves this stuff. No, no, no. The Inner Geek's here. Uh, he, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see her compete. The Inner Geekdom is not a, 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 a division that you just walk into and go, oh, yeah, I can do that. Because you will the get dogs you're not upset with the, the, are not the a fan. And, I've been working with Mara many times, and to her Ken's cup game is always on point. Point. Right? She's been Absolutely. Me for a long time. Well I done. Play. I want to play, and I said, "Yeah, we'll get you a match." And I said to her recently, "Makes it okay to buy a child's cup and I've not be dead for a year." You tell me when I want to play. <laughs> so now she is in the tournament. She is here playing Koi Jandru, who is. Yeah tasted victory before he's been in two free-for-alls he is a vet now in this league so that alone could be intimidating we'll see how the amazing one does in her debut absolutely and coy you know he's had some ups he's had some downs he rides a cool motorcycle sometimes around town like he's james dean uh post breakfast you know so i mean so he, he this is a key match for him all right well let's hear from both crazy coy jandrew and the amazing mara Kanopic. here we go so I'm back. I love the Inner Geek Team. It is my place. It is where I like to thrive. This is the stuff I love. This is the stuff I love. These are my people. This He's is always so high energy. I love that. I love being here. I'm Mara. I love movies. I have been begging Christian for a long time to let me finally come over and compete in the Inner Geek Team tournament. She is wearing so flannel. The of Mr. Malcolm Putin might be right. The reason this exists, <laughs> Everyone who wears flannel is somehow associated with know, Dan Murrow. I know more. I just don't know <laughs> the shark is in the water. I've been training under the lights. He's there. I've been trying to hone the skills. I've been trying to know what it's like under that SAT like God duress because I'm going to take down Mike. That's the goal and then Edmund's next. You uh -huh. know, I grew up in the 90s when and the vintage Star Wars and Star Trek got me mercilessly Dan Murrow. And this is a but place no hat. Shine and take that strike and turn it into so she has hair. Like she a has title hair. that doesn't actually mean anything People in the real have hair can wear so hats. Her life, Correct, I've never but maybe her. she she's wanted fantastic. to show the she's hair. Brilliant. She's like a well, you could she's still got see got like she's got long hair, she's so the hair would wicked smart. not so be covered up by a hat. She fights. I've never seen it, but I know Guess the woman I, herself. There's the one hole in my. Koi oh, has this just frenetic energy, and sometimes that but can she's be holding a mic. Sometimes I think he gets caught Dan up in his own head. Spun a in a web, if you will. And I think that it could go either way. It could be anybody's game today. I want nothing more than to show the internet that, hey, I've had some rough runs, I've had some rough rounds, I have completely faltered under pressure, but I want to show the internet I know this stuff because I love it, Not the and I love you guys. The Schmodown fans are some of my favorite approval people in the world, from the so this is more for you than it's for me. It's my pride, but it's your victory, and that's what I want to do it for. It's for you guys. Koi, I think that you're wonderful, but I Robert don't know if you are suited and to continue to answer the victim tournament at this time, because... I'm gonna be amazing. We get it, you're good. So I think Mara, having never been in this situation, is gonna realize that it's yeah. not just knowing stuff, it's the experience. I know this stuff, and the experience always tears me apart. I think she's a brilliant girl that's gonna see all the facts, but in the moment she needs them, won't be able to is find which one. That's my theory, and I hope that's how it works out, because that's how I'm gonna win. Ooh. If you were talking just mustaches, then yeah, I think he's got a shot. But if you're going full well, facial hair, it's gotta be it's above the line. Sexy ass beards. He, he and to nobody's surprise, well, he's still on here. She's got a pretty good beard too. Oh yeah, that's right. That's, that's true. That's true. That, oh, you know what? He still has and that Whitney. victory. Those two need to do battle. Oh. and I think that it's yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. That needs to be a poll. Has that been a poll? That needs to be a poll. I was about to say. Who has? Then again, you know, then you have Mara who says, "I am confident. Who has the best facial? I know." these categories Love i'd vote for malcolm she gave koi respect i'm, I'm gonna make the poll right now i'm coming in here to play and i respect it 
All right, Ken, give me the tail of the tail. Christian tail looks the has the most tired Stay beard. Crazy. Like, he's just like, I'm so tired. Here, his strength <laughs> I didn't say Fantastic <laughs> mustache, you called it! <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> he is very good at fast talking. It actually works. With they heard us talking. Got her strengths here. I asked her before the match. I go, uh, give me your strengths so I can uh, tell the fine folks nice what strengths. to expect. Nice strengths. Like, yes, That's funny. Dewey Decimal System. That Dewey, Dewey Decimal System is a tough category. Oh, I like that. I like that. Maybe not. It's not how you spell lore, but I'll accept it. I like that. It's lawyer. Lawyer. Can you ready to go? Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia. JTT and got hired. In the Inner Geekdom Tournament. Introducing first. Making her Ooh. Good theme, good theme. Debut. This is Dan a tough Mar one, yes. Dan Merle likes it. Dan Merle likes A lot of people like... Oh. Kirsten, stop putting holes in my... In the theory. I, it's the I would think theory. if he was there, he would have walked her out, right? You would think. No, they're not in the same pack. So? Slow down before. It's not canon. Girl. It's not canon. Okay. It's not canon. They're not together when they're there, but outside. <laughs> All right, right away, she has. First competitor to steal things. Uh, you're going to be a scoop like reporter for the okay. Schmodown. <laughs> that horse that John Humphrey rode out magically disappeared. Are you sure it's the first robbery in the Irishman? That's a Spider-Man animated series song. Yes, that's a good song right here. Oh, that is a dope suit. Much approved, Koi. Dope ass suit. That is awesome. Damn. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, that's really good. Well done. Man. So, Robert, I'm aiming to get one point during round one. I am going to bet that you're going to get three. Don't forget about your challenge rule. Oh, okay. To answer the question. The truth. All right. Boy, you ready? Ready. Mara, you ready? more. Three more. Then let's get ready to shoot Question one in round Some real excited in people in the Star crowd Trek. for this one. Or it was a laugh track. Star Trek film has the final appearance of Leonard Nimoy as Spock. <laughs> Never seen a Star Trek, so here's a guess. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please, and Koi. In Star Trek Into Darkness. In Darkness. That's correct. Oh! Although he was in a picture frame. He was seen in a picture frame in Beyond. I, I don't know that that counts. No, it doesn't. He's not, like, actually credited. What character in the Can I plug my show one on one? Uh, nah, let's not do that. Oh, Christian Harloff. I heard that. Interview Dominic Monick. Five. Never been put one. It's a good thing to know the cast's list. Mary Brandy Brandy Buck. Mary. I have the wrong answer and pivot. Oh, nope, that would be Billy Boyd. Billy Boyd. Yeah, I always confuse Mary and Piffin. Which planet is home to the Nova Corps in Guardians? Oh, no. Have you gotten this? No, no, no. Is it a guess? Take a ride at a Chevy Nova. Maybe? Four. I'll look to Robert for the first one. <laughs> one pens down, please, Coy. Zara Noble? Oh, Xandar. Damn. So I've already beat my record. I have two. I'm telling you, you're gonna get that third, and then you're gonna get the rest of them. What kind of creature was Voldemort feeding off in the Forbidden Forest in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's? Oh, you're right. We've got this. We've got the Swabbit. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> This is my, Man, this I'm is messing my up my record. I've been doing real well in Inner Geekdom recently. One pens down, Mara. It's a unicorn. 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 Hooray! Oh, no. Wow, boy, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, cool. uh, Mara's still perfect. I'm a big advocate for unicorn rights everywhere. Yeah, that's, I mean, for a debut, this is pretty impressive. Yeah, pretty good. DC movies. DC movies. 
How many Superman movies featured Gene Hackman Ooh. as Lex Luthor? Uh, I'm in between two answers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. Four, three. S two. For a repeat. One. Pens down. <laughs> yeah. Three. A three. Two. Three. three. Darn. I always pick the wrong. Five, four, well, I had to oh, written down. I had to, and then I had to erase it. I, I, I mean, yes, I was between two and three, and I was like, "This is which why you rewatch these movies." Cameo from Elijah Wood as Frodo. Full title. No, no, I think you can do the. <laughs> I want the colon included. I don't actually remember. Five, four, three. No, it's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. Two. It is the Hobbit and Unexpected Journey. The Unexpected Journey. I got it. (laughs) Yeah, got it too. I I didn't include the Hobbit. (laughs) As long as you have the colon, that's what I care about. I have the colon just for you. There we go. The DCEU. In Batman vs. Superman, what is used to kill Doomsday? Uh, the, the, The thing. Five, <laughs> the, the thing with the thing, thing in the thing. one pens down, please, Coy. One Roman spear. It's, uh, the, spear. Cri- it's the kryptonite spear. spear. Incorrect. Can't kryptonite say it. Kryptonite spear. Yeah. Kryptonite spear. That Batman made. Kryptonite. kryptonite Not the Wonder Woman spear. 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 No, Batman made it. Is the answer we're looking for. Oh, yeah. So Coy said Wonder Woman. Seven two. Seven two. Kryptonite. Seven two. Seven two. But well, if he had said Batman Spear, would that have counted? I would have accepted. Uh, I mean, I'm not the judge, but I think Batman Spear was more accurate. I mean, than I, I think if they had Kryptonite or Spear, I think that they, I think Kryptonite was the main answer. Yeah, Kryptonite was the main answer because the because Koi didn't get it right apparently. Yeah, well, because it wasn't Wonder Woman's so. thing. Shmee. Shmee. Susan. Susan. I don't. I don't care about Susan. Koi. You're killing me, Small. I watched that movie like two days ago. Thank you for that quote, Kristen. You're welcome. I'm actually currently perfect myself. Ooh. Uh, what's his name? Oh, Ooh. Oh. Ooh. I can picture him. Where's you going? He's a really great Four. actor. Three. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I think he's fantastic. I just can't pull it. I don't. Brian Cox. There you go. I'm like, I don't Brian remember Cox. his name. Yes. He was also in good. Uh, of the good. He was. He was great. Yeah, great in that movie. The rise of the Planet of the Apes. He wasn't still more Yeah, he was, was really good in that movie. Still five right, he was. Okay. Uh, so it was Malfoy. Yep. Tom Felton. Mixed bag. Mixed bag. He's Malfoy. Scott he doesn't have a name. <laughs> what color is oh, no. Oh, shit. The first time? It changes so much. I'm just going to put this in. If it's I'm going to put this. It won't be right. Oh, Four, I've never seen this. Three. It's a good movie. Uh, people say it. I just haven't had time. I think it's pink. Is it pink? That's incorrect. Purple. Also incorrect. Pink? Yeah! yeah. Of course it was. Robert. Well done, Robert. Well done. That's one of my one of my friends at college. That's her favorite movie of all time. It's Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. A lot of people like it's like I just haven't seen it. Did you go perfect, Robert? I did. Man, well, I got usually you were right. Sometimes that mixed bag question throws me off, though. But I do. Scott Pilgrim is one I've seen. They are. Yeah, I have And Susan was apparently one. <laughs> Although, I think that's definitely the most creative wrong answer that uh, Take Three's reactions have maybe ever seen, so. You've not heard some of Chris's. <laughs> Aren't Chris's just always chicken parmesan? At least it's started with the same. I, I particularly <laughs> like the the Spider-Man school, high school one. Oh, Midtown? <laughs> Uh, what what did you call it? Morning. Uh, morning, morning wood. Morning wood. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Middle Earth. Yeah, That's stay with it. But he's gonna respin. But I would like you to stay stick with it. Stay with it. That's a bad decision. This is for you. 
He needs to get Marvel. He has bad luck with this wheel. A lot of interesting things. He's gotten Marvel before, oh, though. No. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. That could be worse. Boy, boy, it's be okay. That's okay. It could be a lot worse. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. It could be. Yeah, it could be worse for him. It's at least in a comic book genre. Yeah, I think he's okay with DC as well. Yeah. What is the name of the city that Hal Jordan is from? Oh. In um, Green Coast Africa. City. Capital City. That's it. Yeah. That's right. No. For the steel. What did he say? I couldn't hear. He said, he capital. said capital city. For my nerd pride, can I say Coast City now? No, Coy. Take a second and think about it, Coy. He did the Jay Washington. Poor yeah, Coy. It, yeah, that's one of those where you just like say the word and then you're like, shoot, it's wrong. Detective Angela Dodson. Investigating the oh, this is Rachel Vice. Rachel Vice, yeah. Kristen killing it. Multiple choice. All right, multiple choice. A. Liv Tyler. B. Rachel Wise. C. Gwyneth Paltrow. D. Maria Bello. Rachel Wise. That's correct One for a point. point. Yes. All right, so point You're gonna need some I, I objectively I really enjoy the movie uh, Constantine. I like Constantine. Machine. I I it's do like Constantine. It's quality. It's not. A, it shouldn't get a bad rap. Save the rainforest charity ball. As a giant uh, a purple monkey. It's a gorilla. Yeah. Yeah, yeah a giant purple. <laughs> <laughs> With movie. weird, creepy, sparkly nipples. A, a jaguar. B, a flamingo. Oh, I mean, I think my answer is the most specific. I, <laughs> I think, yeah, I think you're the most specific. I would have loved you to answer that in the showdown. I would like, I would like to. Yeah. Yeah. Sparkly <laughs> nipples for you. Fourth question in 2009's Watchmen. Oh. What is the name? Oh, of it's, uh, it's Nic the owl, Archimedes. Yeah, Archimedes. I almost said Nicodemus, but that's a different owl. That's a Bible thing. <laughs> yeah. Di different owl. <laughs> Nicodemus. Uh, yeah, that was last. That was last week's. Archimedes is uh, Merlin's owl. Yeah, I, your, yeah. Your guys' owl trivia is on point. Uh, <laughs> Our Nicodemus was on point. All right, so Corey, well, I'm pretty sure there's not a Nicodemus owl. I, I don't think so. Final question there probably five. is somewhere. What is the name of the hulking supervillain that doesn't speak and was imprisoned along with oh, the Superman and in um, Superman? And it's like a really short name. Gorilla, no, not, is it, is it Gron? Is it Non? Non, like N-O-N? Oh, yeah, I think it's not. I was trying to think of ones that didn't speak a lot, and I was just like, hmm. Yeah, Robert, that is correct. Robert that's a real weak. Man. This is big because Mara, if she I gotta rewatch those Superman movies. She, she if she gets a good spin here, she could knock him out. I know, man. Koi, <laughs> you're killing me. She's a max knockout. Yeah, she could get a maximum of ten points here and knock him out twenty to five if she sweeps. It seems that would be the crazy. It seems to be the trend of these in the Kingdom. Yeah, you're right. Awesome. It's been sort of a trend. And it is Star Trek. Trek. Spin that again. Well, if she is, Dan does like Star Trek, so. Yeah, everybody everybody likes Star Trek. Chris. Not she everyone just, likes Star Trek. Those get deep yeah. cut really quickly. Oh, she's oh, sad. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Man, you know who likes Star Trek? She must push it. Yeah. <laughs> Dan likes Star Trek. <laughs> it's canon. It's canon. I think it's canon. person might, might go there. I heard about this. Guy? Oh, <laughs> wow, she's not been in the league very long to be uh, <laughs> hot shot in Andrew Guy. All right, I like her. Here's she should. She could. She should come back. In the realm of Star Trek. <laughs> Who directed Dan had sixteen Star Trek? Watch a lot of Justin Star Lin. Justin Lin. 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 I feel like we just answered this the other day. That Fast and the Furious guy. I'm pretty sure they've used that one before. Oh, um, that would be Star Trek for the Voyage Home. James Horner did the third one. Do multiple choice. Four. Voyage Home. Multiple choice. Correct. 
Can he just give the number? I don't think think that's acceptable in my eyes. You have to know the title. Well, but like if I knew that it was Star Trek Four, which is the main title. That's Star Trek Six: The Undiscovered Country. Although he's also in the fifth one, but he's the officer in the sixth one. Lay it on me, JTE. Alright. Mara asked for a repeat. In what Star Trek movie do we see a cameo by Christian Slater as a communications officer? Five, four, three, two. Star Trek to the Rathathon. Correct. Coy? I'm going to go with the answer to the Voyage Home. It's also incorrect. Okay. Ain't your gang, Dave. Star Trek this is my, the undiscovered country. My worst category. Right. So I question won't question number four. Question I you when they test these questions, I usually don't do that one. Ship that Khan takes over in Star Trek Two: The Wrath of Khan. Um, the I Reliant. Feel like, I feel like this was used recently too. Yeah. Uh, I want to go to multiple choice. A. Constitution. B. The Reliant. I don't think it was used in round two though. It's either like one or three. Hmm. Hmm. Five. Four. C. Incorrect. It was Reliant. That's, That's correct, correct for one point. point. Oh. Boy picks up some. She should have spun again, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Your final. Well, she knew that he didn't want it. Yeah, she knew that, I guess, he wouldn't be able to steal that easily. Which member of the Enterprise crew is the first to meet the Scotty? Montgomery Scotty. Yes, uh, uh, Scotty, Scotty, not Spotty. <laughs> That's a different. Montgomery <laughs> Scotty. It's an eight-point lead. Coy's able to get himself out of knockout territory. So it's not a knockout. In desperate need. He's got to have a good round three, though. Coy has to have a yep. great round three. Coy can get two points. He beats the score from last time. Oh, my God. Do it. <laughs> that means he did improve. Correct. You know what? And he hasn't been knocked out yet, so this is good. I also don't think he's ever played in a singles Intergate match. He's played in two multi-person. Like, he won his first five-way, and then he lost in the four-way to Inman. But I don't think he's played in a singles Intergate match for a while. Or, like, at all. I don't know. He must have. He must have. He's got two losses. Yeah, he must have. Oh, he was in another five way. The one that uh, Donica won. Who said it? He was in oh, another yeah. five way. Yeah. In Attack of the Clones, which character said, This party's over? Mace Windu. Mm hmm. Yeah. Fine. This party's Four. over. You could easily add, like, a mother effer to the end of that sentence, which is how you know it, Sam. Yeah. Have to hit your three. He's over. He's got to answer out now. Amazing one will escape your whip. TKO victory. 15 is Star Wars. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here we go. Really? In Return of the Jedi. Who tries to uh, hotwire the door to the Endor bunker only to end Han. up closing? Yeah, Han Solo. Han Solo. Han Solo. You're right. Three points. Three points. All right. Hey, All right, he did better. Down. Good go. job. He the <laughs> answers here. He ties. We're so happy. <laughs> Not hit the five. He needs to hit the five. I don't want him to get knocked out. He just got his category? vindication from the internet. <laughs> the Hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It's been fun. Here you go. Oh, oh poor, poor guy. guy. He has such I'll bad luck. Trolls. Oh. To and Tom, Burt, and William. The dwarves in the Hobbit. He's not gonna know this. Voiced by three guys who played three dwarves, though. Uh, William Kircher, Peter Hamilton, and... Boston. We don't need you to show off, Ron. Three, two, <laughs> Say the last one. I, I honestly don't. Uh, give me a second. So I don't run the... Good job. Oh, wow. This, great. This is, I feel so bad. Poor Koi. He's got bad luck with it. Give the man some Marvel questions. Sunglasses. Yeah, who else wears sunglasses?
A lot of Ben Bateman. A lot of people. A lot of people. They go outside. When it's sunny outside. That's a good call for your eyes. Good choice. I'm really upset. Poor Koi. Or Rachel Cushing, Emma, and any of these people, I'm, I'm looking over my shoulder and I'm saying, whoa, who's that? Mm -hmm. I mean, that was an amazing, no pun intended, first round here. And it was uh, it was a battle. It yeah. was an absolute battle to where she, she just kept hitting. And it was that first round. She only missed two questions. Yeah. Then she goes with Star Trek. She does fairly well in Star fairly Trek. Well. You know, she didn't go to multiple choice a couple times, which yeah. probably was a smart move because Koi couldn't steal. Couldn't steal. Yeah. Couldn't steal. And, and sometimes you will not work into the game on the fly as he plays. This again, just the first match, but she's watched a lot. Uh, but I, I think she, she, she yeah, brought in. Yeah, I feel like Koi needed some very specific there to stay in it. And a lot of personality. Yeah. Koi needed some two-point seals to stay in it there. Fun to yeah. watch that match and watch, like you said, I think a new star in the Inner Geekdom division has been born, and she is. And just a better first round. round. Find out what's next. Yeah. And he was, what, it was three to eight at the end of the first yeah. round. Here we go. Uh, what's that movie when I score six, that's a problem. Here with the amazing one. That means you did great. That's good. That. Why is that a problem? No, no, no. I'm good enough for government. Well, oh, I'm getting six. That was a phenomenal first match. At least I mean, six. I think we haven't but seen I'm, a performance I'm like that from someone's lights. first match since Rachel Cushing. How are you feeling right now? I mean, just being That's... put in the leagues with her is really complimentary, but, you know, it can go Two. either way. Koi, it can be vicious, and I was just lucky I came out on top. The lights usually get to people their first time out there, but you seemed really comfortable. Tell me how you were feeling after that first round. Well, you know, uh, it's always great, your very first time, your very first question, to know you know the answer. Not always. And, uh, <laughs> well, you know, you can just kind of keep that momentum going. Plus, I legitimately have nothing else to do today, so this is so fun. <laughs> so now, that was your first match ever. Yeah. What's next for you? Like, our, I mean, you know we're in the middle of this tournament right now, and you're going to be facing some of the toughest competition we have in the Inner Geekdom. Some new faces, but there's some legitimate killers out there right now. Are you feeling a little bit nervous to having being thrust into it in the middle of this? I would be lying if I said it hadn't crossed my mind. But to answer your first question, the very next thing I'm going to do is get a life-threatening milkshake. Life-threatening milkshake. Ow. Yep. We'll mm -hmm. talk later. Oh. Okay. Uh oh. Oh. What is this? What is he doing? Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> what? Come you know, there's been a lot of chaos oh, going on here random. right now. Uh, <laughs> you know, a lot of changes in power apparently. Uh, but what is, you know, so really chaos is, is that we, I feel like we found just a new an intruder. female superstar <laughs> here. Waltz is in. Well, I, I don't know if I want to call myself a superstar, <laughs> but I would be willing to accept the moniker of the brown dwarf star. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you came out though with the, with the nickname Amazing. That's a really hard nickname to, you know, own up to. And I feel like you, you matched it. Well, the good news is the Amazing Spider-Man gave me a really low bar to clear. That's <laughs> 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 Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, too Just soon. Just happy to be a part of the team. Not soon enough. I love That's actually so really true, already. though. This is going to be a really fun time. Super for true. Us, I think. Well, I like it. Super Can we true. Be friends? First. Do you want to go hang out? Absolutely. Awesome. Sweet. I don't even want to do my next interview. Dad, I made one friend today. Ooh, oh boy, Koi. Did she say dad or Dan? Yeah. Your suit looked good, at least. <gasps> look at losing. <laughs> Dignity was there as visual. You know look, whose name is Dan. Sport, you have competed against some of the <laughs> names Damn in the Inner Geek League. Uh, but how did Mara match up to those? Thank she you, was Malcolm. Calm. You've how given me material for this entire call. I, you know, I like losing to her. Uh, she was calm. She was calculated. I'm going to lose and keep losing. Oh, and I want to lose to greats. Uh, and I, I want, can he I win? Really how, like, controlled she was going through it. Can he just she win? Didn't really falter when a new category popped up. She just like handled it. Like when Star Trek came up, she was like, this is mine. I'm going to take care of it. He yeah, needs to be a really hype man for somebody's fashion. Now, yes. I mean, this is your second loss, like in an actual match. He dresses but, like one God, already. I can't even count how many otherwise. Four. Um, to one. <laughs> can count, can... What makes you keep coming back? I love the game. I, I love the game. I love the people. He's I just like such like a nice I'm person. I just want him to win again. I would never have gotten there. I would not have. Do you liked... ever think about studying the things you aren't That's good at? Okay, so the problem for me is Ouch. I watch The Hobbit and it's just nine hours of loss. Nothing sits in. You watch <laughs> and it goes in one eyeball and out the other. There's nothing gonna stay because those movies are, are dumpster fire. So Sorry, Rob. It's just like the experience of watching that won't <laughs> I agree. Mm -hmm. So when a category like that comes up, like there's only so much you can fake enjoyment and then 
then you're just hurting yourself. Yeah. So the things I got right, I'm proud of. Coast City's gonna haunt me. I, I obviously. I can tell I that one hurt you. Like it, I felt it viscerally as soon as Capital came out of my mouth. So I'm just happy I knew the stuff I actually know. I, I'm happy about like having my fandoms represented well. I think a lot of it was me losing on things that I would not have known anyway. So this loss to me hurt a lot less because my competitor was great. The things I lost aren't things that I'm really as passionate about, and I love doing it for you guys. I, I, I have fun being here, so I hope that translates. Yeah, you're not exactly playing slouches. You know that, right? Yeah. You're losing to some of the biggest names in the league. So that Let's said, JV team. I just need a little. You know, who? Yeah. Who would you like to face? Where's my uh, someone off the street. <laughs> 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 Just very excited. You could see she's Mike going. Snip. She said, "Bring it on." Who's it next? She they just bring in like a hobo <laughs> off the street. That'd be great. Running the show when it comes to Mike's the next game. plan is to eliminate one of them and add Koi back it. into it. So yeah. yeah, it could be Rachel Cushing. We don't know yet. Yeah. We're gonna find out. But that was something. And Koi, Koi still wants to keep playing. I like Koi. Koi's like, Koi's like that fighter. You know, every once in a while he'll get in the ring. He'll get. Yeah. He'll, he'll get Clipped yeah. in the joint, he gets yeah. right back up and wants to fight again. In, in, in 80s wrestling terms, he's Barry Horowitz. Nice, yes. nice suit. Uh, it's, yeah, but yeah. but uh, I, I, I like his personality. I like him as a person. And I yeah. I know some, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a... He, he needs to get freaking Marvel well, yeah, is what he needs yeah, to do. People I've ever met. So he'll be in this league for a long time, even if he's 1 in 40. All right, guys. Thank one in forty. So I would cry if he was up. one in forty. <laughs> it feels so bad. Inside of the Inner Geekdom, leave your comments. Let us know, and make sure once again to thank all of the patrons out there. You're the reason this league is able to happen at all. Without you guys, not happening. So make sure you go on, go on over to patreon.com/schmodown. Become hmm. a patron today. Check out all the stuff. Look at all those cool tiers. That's nice. For the team championship in an That's going to be match. so much fun. That's going to be really yeah, yeah, it's going to be ridiculous. Up against the current champions above so the much line. trash talk. And then you have Andrew Guy decides he That's going to be a bloodbath. Yes. It better be. Dangerous Dan Merle makes What happens if Andrew <gasps> is like collision. really real, riot, real I think. Talk. What ha what happens? He's if wearing Andrew. flannel. That's not happening. Oh, that's Sam not happening. Rachel Cushing. I wonder who accepts the open challenge. Battle against Eric Zipper oh. and then finally you have the triple threat match between Mark and Draco, the machine Janine and Sassy. Finally, and Draco getting a match. I'm excited. At the collider collision and in round 2 of the tournament, it's coming. Yeah. Take a breath. You did a great that job. Good. That was good. It. A good looking for the collider collision even though I'm not going to be a part of it competing. That's well, a whole another thing. You'll but uh, well, time. yeah, I'll, I'll buy a ticket. Don't right, worry, so. don't worry. I'll, I'll buy a ticket. I don't think you have to buy a ticket. All right, so guys, thanks again. Oh, I think you just have to show up and bring some beer. Facebook group as well as listening to the Schmodown Rundown every Saturday on the Collider Factory podcast feed as well as the YouTube SK Plus. All right, guys, thank you very much. See you next time. Hmm. 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 Oh. Don't disrespect the pillow. I thought it was Dan, but it wasn't. Great match. Fantastic. <laughs> Do you have anything to say? No. Hello? <laughs> That's nice, but I was thinking a little more along the lines of, well, thank you. Uh, or being a jerk to pillows? <laughs> That's what you get disrespecting the pillows. No one knew who you were, and now they do, because of me. This competition was only 10 competitors, now it's 16, so you're uh, one of those lonely six that are now part of it. So I would think when someone does something nice for you, you're going to make a name for yourself. It's kind of a thank you. I, I, that's how I was brought up. I just don't know. You know, maybe <coughs> not everyone's like that, but you know, that's me. Thank you? I don't really seem sincere. So uh, let me stop you right there. You're one of those people that don't get get stuff and you don't thank me for it, huh? Okay. So <coughs> you, you said mm -hmm. from me in complete obscurity. Yes. I am going to pick Mara Kanopic to become one of these six that may have an opportunity to do something. I have no idea who you are. Why do I need to thank you? For the opportunity for my
complete success. I'm not talking orchestrating. I'm just giving you an opportunity to become a superstar. But it's okay. It's okay. We're gonna, you know, you're one of those people. I'm one of these people. You know what? Let's. You had a great win. You keep on winning. I'm gonna keep on winning. We'll see where that takes us. Just one, one course correction there. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> brown dwarf star. <laughs> Radagaster brown. I don't know what that means. Go ahead. Hey. What's up, Showdown fans? Frank here, and it is time for your Schmo Down Breakdown. Here's what you need to know about Koi going into this match. This was his first one-on-one -on -one match, and he was averaging 42% correct. And That's sad. Accuracy was at 47%. After his run in round one today, answering three questions, his round one average drops to 43%. As for Mark Anopic's debut, her round one score of eight points is the best score for a rookie this season. Mm. And Mara is the 12th rookie to nice. in 2018. Into the second round we go. After Koi's run in the DC category, answering two of five questions, he is now 67% lifetime in that category. Mark Anopic went two of five in Star Trek, but did swipe two points in Steel to give her a 14 to six lead heading into the final round. Koi basically got two Star Wars questions, and he is now 36% lifetime in the category. <laughs> Mara wins this one by TKO, and it is the sixth match in the Inner Geekdom to be decided by a TKO or KO this season. Koi Jandrew on the day went 7 of 21 for 33% correct. His career average is... Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad. <laughs> That is the fifth best accuracy for a debuting player this season. If you want to find he out scored about three this round, she almost scored in one. Check out SD Rundown stats on Twitter, and don't forget to check out the Schmodown Rundown every Saturday on YouTube and the Collider Factory podcast feed. This has been your Schmodown Breakdown. Nice. How's it going, guys? If you didn't Good. know about Patreon the Patreon commercial, you guys have a chance I was to worried. support the Schmodown. Now, myself, <laughs> Mark Ellis, we've taken over the production. Basically, you guys have 16 tiers to choose from. We're trying to give back to the fans. Go and check it out right there. If you want to support the Schmodown by becoming a patron today, go ahead and do it. Cannot thank you guys enough for all the support you've given us. And, yeah, there's some really crazy tears in there. I'd love to get your opinions on it. Now, go enjoy the match. Go do it's it. A it's a good match, match for God's, God's sakes. sakes. All right. That's all I like. That's the only thing I want to say. <laughs> all right, guys. So that was the match between Koi and Mara. I am sad, so we're going to go <laughs> to someone else. So, Cody, uh, what would you think of this one? Uh, I really enjoyed this match. Uh, Inner Geekdom is like the one I really enjoy watching. It's not my, my strongest, but it's movies that I do enjoy. Um, I'm really excited that Mara actually won, um, but I wanted Koi too because he's just too nice to not have things go his way. But if anything's, I mean, his suit looked really good, if that's a thing to take away. So he should continue to wear that suit and maybe give it to the homeless guy outside. That he'll play next. <laughs> uh, that would be spectacular to just watch some homeless guy walk around in that Spider-Man suit. Malcolm, what were your thoughts about this match? Um, yeah, this is, was a fun match. Like, um, Mo shows what um, she really knows. And Chloe stumbled on quite a lot of um, e um, easiest questions. But, I mean... Um, but yeah, it was a fun match to watch. I mean, I always love watching Chloe, watching Moa shows that she can do this. Um, she's not an unknown anymore. Yeah, definitely. Rob, as uh, the person who I feel like is like the expert of all things in her geekdom, uh, <laughs> what do you think about this one? Uh, this is a good match. Uh, I wish Koi might have done a little bit better in round two, um, but he just 
that's definitely that round is not his strength as we've seen in all of his past matches really um i'm interested to see who both of these players play next you know koi's a really fun guy to watch he is a really energetic guy you can tell that he really likes the game so he is fun to watch you know does he play like a carlson next does he play like a navarro you know there's a couple options for him and obviously mara is going to be moving on to this tournament and i can't wait to see who she plays next so i'm excited to see where these two players go from here Definitely. I, I was really, really impressed with Mara. I think she had a really good handle of the game for someone who came in. Uh, and as far as I know, like, I don't know how much she's seen the matches or anything, um, but she seemed to know what she was doing and she was very impressive. Uh, so I'm looking forward to her next match. And I'm sad about Koi because I, I would really like him to win a match sometime soon, please. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, because he is just like a sweetheart and like, I feel like he should win something at some point. But, uh, oh, well, days away. Uh, so uh, we are, uh, that's that's it for our reaction. We're really happy that you joined us here to watch us watch this Schmodown match. And uh, we hope you guys all tune in later in the week for our next reaction on Friday. Uh, and yeah, that's it. So um, we're going to do sign offs. And um, Robert, where can we find you? Sure, so you can find me on Twitter and Letterboxd at R-B-R-T-P-R-K-R-98. It's my first and last name, no vowels plus a year. Other than that, you can make sure you check out the Schmodown Patreon, uh, the Rundown, and all the other great things Schmodown in this community. Awesome. Malcolm, where can we find you? Hey, you can find me on Sundays hosting um, Rankin. It's a show where we um, nominate topics and... Um, and then rank them in the list. This week is some musical songs, and that's going to be a very big uh, bloodbath, but that's going to be a lot of fun as well. It's going to be a bloodbath. That's accurate. I'm going to I'm gonna beat some people up over musicals. It's what I do in my life. Cody, where are you on the internet, sir? Uh, just on Facebook, and you know who else has Facebook? Dan Mark. Uh, <laughs> but um, I, uh, you can see me on Facebook. I pop around on different things every once in a while. So, yeah, uh, that's about it. Awesome. And as always, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Stardust at Smith underscore K10, the number, not the word. You can also find me right here on Take 3, most of the time hope, uh, hosting the uh, Take 3 Reactor Summit, where we break down the entire week of Shmodan goodness with our fellow reactors and friends. And uh, you can also find me uh, just doing random things everywhere. Yep. So with that, uh, we want to thank you guys all for checking this out. Thank you all for watching. We really appreciate it, and we hope that you all take care.